Leo, welcome to your singles reading for January 2021. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, right away, though, guys, I have to apologize for the way that the setup looks right now. I know it's boring. I know it sucks. I'm in a hotel, um, but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging and be super late, so I'm just going to do them anyway. I'm here all week um, bringing my daughter back to college, so... Sorry about it. <laughs> we'll get through it. You'll still see everything, all right? All right, let's do this, Leo. So if you haven't watched a singles reading of mine before, I pulled two different energies, two different people that you could be dealing with in January as a single person. All right, here we go. Show me the energy of this next person that Leo singles could be dealing with. The Magician, nice. I will show these to you guys again as I'm reading them. Don't worry, I know you can't see them right now. I know the lighting's crap. Again, I'm sorry. The Eight of Swords. The Two of Swords reversed, and this one wants to come out too, so we'll take it. Ooh, nice, the Emperor. Nice. All right, so this person over here, I mean, they've got a little bit of issues, but I don't think it's that big of a deal because they've got the magician and the emperor. Could be dealing with, with an Aries, could be dealing with a Gemini. It doesn't have to be either one, though, but either way, um, awesome energy. Like, they could, they're like CEO, boss energy, um, might own their own business, but they're really they're probably really well off and I don't even mean like just their money like they really have a handle on how life works um like they're the boss of their own life the whole way they're creating their life you know with the magician they're you know they might be somebody that's really into manifestation um because they've really got a handle on that you know, like they're really running shit in their life. They really have it together. Grown up energy, divine masculine energy. And that doesn't mean that it has to even be a man. It's just, that's the energy that they're in right now. We, we all have masculine, feminine in us. You know, that's just, they're going to be like a more aggressive type person. You know what I mean? All right. Like really like take control, take charge. I don't mean controlling they just they own their shit they run their shit like they know how to get things done no problem all right but they do have the eight of swords here air gemini libra aquarius so they are uh, the kind of person that over analyzes overthinks a lot um and they have the two of swords reverse here so hmm i don't know how you guys are gonna be if it's kind of like they have a hard time making decisions because they overanalyze, like, out of control. Um, so it might be when it comes to you, like, they're like this solid person in life, right? But when it comes to you, they might be, like, scared. They might be super scared and indecisive when it comes to you because that's new for them. It's like the kind of person who... Um, like they own their own business they run companies but when it comes to relationships they're like terrified it's like that kind of energy let's see what the outcome is if you decide to pursue something with this person the five of cups reversed all right well that's kind of like seeing the positive and the negative um, so I don't know if they went through something or you went through something in a past relationship. I mean, we all did, but this is, this is going to be something recent. Um, so it's kind of like you guys combined would be like the silver lining. Do you know what I mean? Like if something recently happened in their love life or yours, you guys coming together is like the positive in that. Like if you hadn't ended that relationship you wouldn't have met this person. If they hadn't have ended theirs, they wouldn't have met this person. So you guys are like the positive 
in the negative that happened. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. <laughs> like you guys will look at each other like you're the silver lining. All right. All right, let's get another person for you, Leo. Leo Singles, what is up with this next person? Leo Singles, what do we got? What do we got? three. You know what? I'm going to put them back in. I am. Because they're all reversed and I think it's just the way that my deck was. So let's shuffle again and see what happens. I know what they were. If they try to come out again, I will take them. Leo's next potential partner. Two of Pentacles, the High Priest reversed, and the Five of Wands reversed. All right, they are not the ones that came out before. Um, so this person over here, I think they're going through a divorce with the High Priest here. This can be Taurus energy. I mean, it is Taurus energy, but you don't have to be dealing with one, although you could be. Um, this is a Hierophant card, right? So that's like divorce energy here. Um, I think that they're going through a, uh, through a divorce. And with the Two of Pentacles, more Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, they're trying to keep everything in balance, and they are. It can also be juggling between two people, like maybe it's not finalized yet or something. But with, they have the Five of Wands reversed here. This is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, they're not the kind of person to be in any type of drama. All right, they're not gonna compete for anyone. They're not gonna be in some bullshit. They're not gonna do it. So, I mean, that's really healthy grown-up behavior, right? I would watch out though. You guys might have some conflicting spiritual beliefs, cultural beliefs, whatever. Um, it, you know, it all depends on you, your lifestyle, if that's a big deal for you or not, but that may be a factor with you guys here. Maybe some issues where you guys don't necessarily see commitment the same. Let's get an outcome should you decide to pursue this person. The Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, I think you're going to say no thank you to that person. That's a halt. That's not moving forward. It's just a stop. It's more Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but it's it's no forward movement. I think that you're going to look at it and and just either they're already in something or just you don't share the same belief systems and it's a big factor for you guys okay so it looks like the one on the left is the better bet for you guys all right take care